Hey guys, welcome back to the range. All right, um, I'm gonna knock out one more video before I head home. It's getting dark and it's getting cold. Okay, target fixation versus sight fixation. <clears throat> As you guys already know, I don't like optics on handguns. It's no secret. I'm pretty, pretty bold about that. Yeah, I've got enough. I'm pretty bold about that. Target fixation means that I'm staring at this target. Uh, we're roughly at 10 yards, and this guy has gotten way too stinking close for my comfort. So now my gun is at the ready position, and I'm issuing commands to this guy. And so right here, I'm target fixated on him. I can just, with my shooting eye, actually with both eyes, I can see my front sight post right here. If I need to, I can thrust it out in front of me and get a headshot on this guy. And that instantly either modifies his behavior permanently or temporarily because the frontal is pretty thick and it's been known to skip rounds. But the point is, that dude just caught a round anywhere from here, from, from here and above you catch a round, you are seriously rethinking your behaviors in life. What I did there was I continued looking at him and I brought my gun up and all I had was a very messy front side picture. I had two guns in front of me. For me as a lefty, I ignore the leftmost gun because the leftmost gun is what my right eye is catching. Now, if I want to get complete fixation on the sight, right now I'm staring at my front side post and only my front side post. I'm still seeing two sights in front of me, two, two guns in front of me, but the one that I'm really paying attention to is the one directly in front of me and I am hard focused on that fiber optic and it is, now it's really clearing up because that's all I'm looking at in front of me. But that's hogwash. Because if this guy's coming, what am I really going to be looking at? Am I going to be looking at this? No, I'm going to be looking at that. Because that's my threat. That's where an optic on your handgun comes in handy. Ooh, yay. Well, you put an optic on your handgun, and sure, it's all kinds of awesome sauce. Right up until the optic fails. Cracks. Fogs. Fill in the blank. That's why I do not like optics on handguns. They are failure points waiting to happen. The only question is, how bad is that failure going to be? So I choose to stick with this. And those of you who have come out here and trained with me and run drills with me and run this stuff and, and come to the realization of, wow, I, I can do this. Yeah, you can do this. And I'm running you. I'm running you slap silly out here. And yet you're still getting it done. Why? Because you're understanding there's target fixation and then there's optic or sight fixation. I prefer target fixation with a very loose, good enough picture. That right there is a good enough picture from here to there. I didn't take very long to do that. All I did was glance at the handgun and at 10 yards I just affected a headshot. Based on those it looks like it's roughly on his left eye. So I'm hitting this guy where it matters. So I say to you, don't get all tied up in what you're reading on the, on the interwebs because there's a lot of stuff that's being pushed at people that is just a whole lot of fluff. Because guys, I've been there, I've done it, I've tried it, I've rolled in the mud with it, I've bled on it, I've, I've done it, and I'm saying to you, you don't need a lot of stuff, you need a lot of knowledge, and that's what I'm trying to give you here. Try this at home. Um, verify that your gun is unloaded, and I mean verify that your gun is unloaded. You see daylight through the magwell. You see and feel into the chamber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure that gun is unloaded. Make sure those mags are in the other room. And then focus on the light, uh, the light switch across the room. And look at it, uh, look at the light switch, and then look at your front sight. Look at the light switch, look at your front sight. And the only way I can do this with my hand is, your eyes are gonna do this. Each and every time that you change focus, your vision is gonna go, uh, 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 uh. And it's a really cool sensation. Once you understand the difference between the two, then you understand what it is that you're seeing. So right now, front sight, and now the blade of grass in the distance, front sight, blade of grass in the distance. And what ends up, and I'll close with this, what ends up happening is, if you're- Oh, that's okay, my camera dies, I'll finish with this one. If you're target fixated, right now I'm target fixated, and now I'm front sight fixated. If you're target fixated, and you're not trained on target fixation, you're gonna end up, watch, watch right here. You're gonna end up doing, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna hyper accentuate this so you guys can see it. Right here, I'm front sight fixated, 
and now I'm target fixated. If you're not trained on this, you will end up doing this with your gun. You will subconsciously try to move your gun out of your sight line so you can see your target. And what you end up when you do what you end up with when you do that is you end up here I'm on target. And once I look away, where did I hit? And all that was was the slightest little flick to get the gun out of my sight line, and I missed. I meant to hit him between the eyes, and I hit him there. Now, yes, I hit him, but I didn't hit him where I wanted to hit him. And what if what was there was somebody or something that I didn't want to hit? That's why this matters, guys. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.